What's up you guys? Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. What I've got for you today is a quick walkthrough where I take my logo and I 3D print it. I take you through the whole process. We start out in Illustrator, then we go to Tinkercad, and then we end up in the slicer. I've got it here in my hand. I know it turns out awesome. If you want to see the whole process and the final print, make sure you keep watching. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna turn my logo into 3D. Let's open this one up. As I'm sitting here editing this video, I realized that I forgot a whole part that some of you guys might really need. I originally assumed that any logos that you guys would be doing were gonna be SVGs already or you would already have them ready to go, separated layers, ready to print. I assumed wrong, I think, and I wanna make sure that I make a complete video so that you guys know what you are doing. So we're gonna go back a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to turn a PNG or a JPEG into a vector file or an SVG that then you can take into a vector editing software whether that be Illustrator or Figma or anything else that you guys choose to use. I'm gonna go back a little bit, show you a little more. And so this video might be pieced together a little bit more than usual, but that's okay. I wanna make sure that I have something complete and something that can actually help you guys. So we're gonna get right into that part now. Okay, so I first need a PNG of my logo, which I have um, ready to go. So now to take a PNG and turn it into something that we can actually use, I'm gonna go to my trusty old vectorizer AI. Before this was a thing, you would have had to take it into Illustrator or some other software, Photoshop, something like that, and image trace or turn it into something you could use on your own. But now because this is a thing and it's free, at least for right now, I don't see a reason not to use it. It just takes a whole step out of the process. So I'm gonna drag my PNG in here. So it took my PNG and turned it into an SVG. If you needed to adjust how many colors that it gave you, you could, but I can print these, this is fine. And so then you will go to download, make sure it's an SVG, fill shapes, make sure the shapes are stacked on top of each other. You don't want them to be cut out because then you won't be able to stack them when you're actually printing. If you want them cut out, fine, you can do that. But I think stacking is uh, the best option here. All of these remain checked, super fine, so that the lines can be as close as possible to what they need to be. This is a pretty basic design, but if you had something that was more intricate, you would wanna make sure that it is super fine. I'm turning fill gaps off because what that's gonna do is if there are gaps in the design, it's gonna take a color that's similar and it's gonna use a stroke, which I want only fill shapes. So it's gonna use a stroke and it's gonna try and fill those gaps. I don't think this one's gonna have any gaps, so I'm gonna turn that off. If you have a very intricate design and you think it needs the fill gaps, you can turn that on, but for now I'm gonna turn it off. So then we will download. Then once you have an SVG, you can go into your vector editing software. For me, that is Adobe Illustrator, but there is also Figma, which is free and very similar to Adobe Illustrator. I've used it for a couple different things, but for now we're gonna use this because this will transition into the part of the video that I've already filmed. Okay, and then to get to this point, which is where the video is gonna uh, begin in just a second, you would go file, place, this new SVG that we have. And it's a little bigger, but you can tell that it's exactly the same. I would ungroup this. And then I have my light blue layer. I have my, this blue layer, which actually is not the same. So this is good. Since everything is stacked on top of each other, I will need to cut out this light blue piece from this dark blue piece, or you could stack them since they're the same color, that would be fine. And then you could have, instead of like this one, my light blue is kind of cut out. You would have multiple layers stacked on top of each other. That would be one way to do this. Um, but if you don't want that, you would just select the pieces that you want to cut out, which would be all of these light blue pieces and then this dark blue and I'm gonna minus front. And then now that should give me the same thing as what I have right here. Then to be able to export all of this blue at the same time, whenever I moved that, you could see that there were some pieces left behind. So we would need to get that select these extra pieces and then group them. And now that is all of the dark blue color. So then at that point you would have the same design that I have over here. You have your light blue piece, your dark blue piece. And then if I select all of these black pieces 
Oh no. These are apparently the same as before, so I need to select them. So any of these that are like this, you will have to minus front just like we just did. So I'll select those minus front, and then you can see that it is one piece now. Same thing for down here. Select all these little pieces and the black minus front. And then you're ready to go. You have the blacks that you can select, group them, and then now we have all three of our pieces ready to print. So now we can go back to my original video. I just wanted to show you this so you could see how you would take a PNG, turn it into a vector file, and then start printing from there. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. This is gonna be super easy. So we have the light blue in the background, and then we have this other blue on top of that, and then all of the black. So it's gonna be three layers. We are gonna go to Tinkercad, create a design, a 3D design. We need to export this, and so we're gonna call that logo back. We're gonna export this and call that logo blue. Then we are gonna export all of these and call those logo black. Okay, so let's go over to Tinkercad and let's import logo back. And we want to scale the percent so that they're all proportional. And I want this to be the full size of my print bed, which is 240 millimeters. 20 will work. Import. Now we will all import them all to be 20. And the back will be, I might want to hang it, so I'll make it four. Quality all the way up. Let's change this color to a light blue color. Now we import logo blue, will also be 20. We'll make this one and come up four. And then make the quality all the way up. And I'll turn this into a darker blue. And then import logo black. We'll make this 20%. And I'm going to make this probably two millimeters thick so that it sticks up higher than the rest of this. Two. We bring it up four because it's still sitting on this light blue color. Whoa, what happened there? This part wasn't included in this light blue color and neither was this. So to fix that for the future, if you click this button right here, select similar objects, you can pick any of these. Um, fill color is what I'm going to have it as. So then I select that and now it's, you can see all of this blue color. Import logo blue again. And now it should include all of the blue. Then this is black. Okay, so here is my logo. The last thing I need to do is add hangers to the back. Combine those combine and you can see through them so i'll be able to get a string through there and now this is ready to be exported so i will go back to bamboo lab new project so we will export the back first then the blue will go next and the black okay and since this was the original back piece we will pull that into bamboo lab to start Ooh, i'm gonna have to have room for a purge block so i can't keep it this big but i'll get everything in here and then change that in a minute so now i need to add a part load this one so then i look at the height of my entire piece which is the z of two which means that it's four total tall but the z is at two and so then if I want this piece to sit on top of that, I need to add two to this. So 2.5. I'm going to change the color of this. We'll just make it this blue. And see the purge block is going to be a problem, but that's okay. And then I need to add one more part. And again, it's of Z of one. My original model was two. So if I come back to this one, I need to make it a Z of three so that it will sit on top of that one change the color to black, and then I can change this color to whatever I want it to be. I don't have another blue color, so I might have to just do white. And this one is actually more of a light blue color. All right, and so the purge block can't go there with this model in the way, so we are gonna scale it down slightly, make sure we keep a Z of six, scale it down slightly, move it over so that the purge block has room to be a purge block, and then turn this back to six so that everything stays what we wanted it to be. And that should be fine. So everything should still be the same. I like to do 30% for like art things like this. And those are not very transparent filaments. So I don't need to worry about anything showing through that much. So we'll slice it and see what happens. Oh, and maybe I'll put that right here. We'll see. That might be too much. Depends how it turns out. Four hours. All right. Well, I'm gonna get this filament loaded and then I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. And this isn't really the right color blue, but it like matches everything else in my room. So we'll just go with that.
Logo print is done, let's check it out. It's not the exact color blue that I wanted, but I knew that when I started. Still looks pretty good. All right, you guys, I got my logo up right here behind me. I think it turned out pretty nice. I'm gonna add more things to the wall here so it doesn't just look like a random circle sitting on my shoulder. Um, but that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a thing or two about how you can use the same process to maybe turn your logo into a 3D print or maybe even 3D print other logos for people that you can sell online. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.